All right, welcome back, everybody. Zanity. So this is, uh, if you don't know him already, this is Mike Watley from Bluefin Electric, and here we are in his uh, torpedo-powered dinghy. I he's, missed this, Bill. Yeah, he's come for a uh, little cruise. And uh, as you can hear, or maybe can't hear, this is the way. <laughs> The way of the future. The way of the now. The way of the now. Wow. Cruising along at displacement speeds. So what voltage is this? This is a uh, 24 volt a, uh, machine. We're using 450 watts right now. Okay, so that's about the same as my winch. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seven uh, kilometers an hour is what our speed is. And nice. Eighty-one percent of our battery capacity, all reading out on here. Yeah. Or if I wanted to, I could see it on my torque track on my. Okay. App that talks to the dongle here. Yeah. Okay. It's a really nice interface. It's talking to the dongle. That's like the oracle in the oracle, uh, in the exactly. electric boating world. It is. Um, so <laughs> as I was saying, dietary. as I was saying last night, uh, Mike and I are going to do a, um, a live stream. We just have to find a date where both of us can actually get together and I can make the software work. Um, here we are, just cruising around the bay. This is actually extremely pleasant. <laughs> That's all I can say. This nice little torpedo is even quieter than my boat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what else we got here? Maybe hit some questions up. What do you, uh, so what do you got on the menu hey. with, um, with uh, Bluefin these days? What's going on? You got any conversions? We got a uh, big conversion. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Hello. All right. A boat just like this one, actually. Oh, okay. We're parked at Steveston. Yeah, boat just a like this. A full keel boat. We're putting a 20 kilowatt motor in there. I'm okay. I'm reveal something here. Have a look. Uh, this is uh, the prop is that uh, Mike keeps trying to convince me to put on the boat. I need a picture of you smiling beside it and then frowning beside it. So then after it goes on your boat, we'll put the right picture up. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's actually pretty impressive. Uh, let me Piece of here, pull that off yeah. there. Oh, uh, wow. I wonder if that well works. That actually, what size is that? Inch. Huh? One inch. No, no, the, the diameter. Oh, um, 10 and three quarters or something. Okay. Sure. 11. That's it. Yeah. It looks a little bit bigger. I know. It's because it's... Can they get a bigger one? No, I think that's the uh, that's okay. the size they make. This goes on their 10 kilowatt yeah. outboard. Okay. Um, and they've got a go fast one. Right. And a, uh, and a torqueier one. So okay. this is the... Uh, this is the uh, torqueier one I think I, I brought. Okay. I've got both of them. Yeah, now. the torqueier one I think is gonna be more suitable for a cabin cruiser just simply because, you know, like I keep saying and, and Mike. <laughs> <Just a laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that's not COVID folks, that's diesel. Yikes. Um, so basically, um, you know, when you convert a cabin cruiser or, or a big heavy displacement boat, Mike and I, I think, are both in the same arena when we say that uh, planing is off limits. <laughs> Until it's the energy it, waste of the century. And and you know the reality is is that you want to, um, if you want to plane, you just need deep pockets. That's it. There you go. So if you wanted to, if you want to convert your boat to electric, and you got a big old heavy cabin cruiser that's pretty much like pushing a brick through water. And if you're set on doing 18 knots, just uh, mortgage your house, buy, buy, buy some li liquid cooled lithium batteries, liquid cooled AC motors, and um, let's go out to the bay. Or is it too rough out there? No, no, no. Huh? I just wanted to see this cute little thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then if you if that's what your heart's set on, you can do that. You could do that. But um, you know what we're in the in the uh, business of promoting is first off clean harbors, for one thing, one. and uh, secondly, um, most boats are weekenders, uh -huh. and most boats, as I've said before, there's other, there's some study, and I'll have to dig it up now because someone's going to want me to prove it, 
but most boat power boaters are idling 40 percent of the time right. and on top of that maybe even more that's possibly um yeah they because because they did the u.s market and you know how they got oh, the old right. florida like yeah, everyone yeah. is like hitting the they don't have boats that go slow down no 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 <laughs> <laughs> like so so uh we can we can appreciate that i mean but um the reality is is that you know when you're doing a conversion on a cabin cruise or a big old displacement you basically just have to um be satisfied, be satisfied. with doing sailboat speeds Just you know speeds. we're not really chugging along we're kind of zooming along zooming along it is and, and that's it's vibration free the vibration free smoke free uh zero emissions you know lots of benefits lots of benefits and i mean look at this look at this little dinghy that we're in here just kicking around and no smoke normally this would be a little uh mike would be sitting in a plume uh, like take, taking uh, that taking years off out. of his life and uh, <laughs> and um, you know telling his friends how fast he went in his dinghy and then <laughs> coughing up a, a nice carbon ball in the uh, on the dock and then of course the seagulls come and clean that up so <laughs> but anyway um, yeah this is awesome I'm glad you came over and picked me up and uh, convinced me to get on this get on the boat. water again and uh this thing the ferry's not in yet right no 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 it's not okay so we just got to beat the ferry back right yeah <laughs> well just go out to the bay and yeah. zoom around i mean i know the ferry's left and that ferry's faster than what it what you think oh yeah yeah no it always cuts you off yeah don't try and try you can never off. beat the ferry they're they look like they're not moving but they're moving so what else have we got here we, we we well we well do a live stream eventually. Um, yes, we will. In fact, I could I should have actually just done this as a live stream, but this could have been a live. But uh, from your phone? Well, that's what I was doing last night. You got a little uh, grass. Okay, there we go. And um, oh right, okay. I thought you needed a bigger device. Well, I, I'm going to need a laptop because there's there's new. There, if we're going to do like a added guest, we need to. Oh, we need to have more some computing power. Uh, that and the software, right? YouTube just doesn't allow for some of those features, right? So that's kind of it. But yeah, we're just um, gonna go out for a little uh, zip in the bay here. Let me show you where we're at. Beautiful British Columbia, how sound. And Mike, are you selling the uh, torpedoes now? Yeah, it's been actually the best spring ever, this story about this COVID thing, but everybody's decided to pick up a uh, nice little torpedo motor. Right. Um, they've been selling like hotcakes, torpedo ran out of them, there was a, a drought of this new model, 1103. Okay. Uh, but finally they uh, they brought in another uh, container load in the U.S., so... Uh, we might be missing this, I'm just thinking, because you're not really mic'd up, and I've got the sound of the oh, water. Right. So... Um, you got a mic on. I got the mic on. Um, there's, there we go. $100, $200, $300, $400. <laughs> there's the ferry. Okay, let's spin around and then let's let's do that question That's again. Good. And that way, you know, for our uh, our dedicated audience here, we can uh, we can actually, um, hopefully, you'll be able to hear him. It's just that we've got a little bit of the uh, one of the things with the electric. Um, propulsion system is that although you're not hearing that that uh, <clears throat> you know the, the the roar of the motor you are um, more or less hearing the uh, the lap of the waves I think Mike's just cleaning the prop here a lot of shrap in the water today yeah as you can see well there we got like it looks like a beaver home over there but that's actually just a stump we should try and jump it. <laughs> but um, all right, so where? Uh, yeah. So where were we? So these new uh, torpedoes. So a lot of people have decided that uh, they didn't want to carry an extra fuel on board their ship to shore the vessel, which is a dinghy like this. Okay. Most people have gone to this new inflatable rib, they call it. Yeah. It uh, has a hard bottom like this, but well, pretty much inflatables. Sure. 
than this. Okay. But similar idea. Right. And the, uh, the gas motor and carrying the fuel and needing repairs and never running right. They're just getting tired of that. And finally, Torquedo has made a 100% uh, replacement for a three horsepower motor. Okay, that's that cool. Everything that the three horsepower did without uh, making smog and fumes and noise. And, yeah. Right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna stop the camera and I wanna see what this sounds like. So keep right. rolling, keep, yep. keep us going in. And uh, I'll stop the camera, I'll take a little listen uh -huh. and see if we're getting it. Right on. Right, well, uh, back on board Etolly here, but just wanna thank Mike for uh, stopping by and taking me for a spin on the uh, Torquedo Bullet. And uh, yeah, it was an awesome, fantastic little uh, cruise out into the bay. Um, Listen, uh, if you guys want to uh, see more of this, uh, again, Mike and I will be doing a live stream. We'll let everyone know. And um, feel free to float your question by, and uh, we'll see if we can answer them. So we'll leave it at that. Thanks again, Mike. Thank you, Bill. It was see a you again soon. Yeah, it was awesome. Next weekend. Yeah, that was impressive. We'll do it again. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bill. Thanks, man.